Well, I got this still FS85, uh, I think. And the trimmer head, I was using it and the friggin' uh, the holders for the line flew out of it. It's finally worn out, I guess. You can see how much the worn hole into it there. And uh, that was all worn out. So I got a hold of uh, this uh, this one here, and it had this Universal Products uh, head on it. That's what uh, Kawasaki uses. But the uh, people who had it never cleaned out the uh, thing. I don't know what to call it. But uh, I had to use the air impact to uh, get it off of there. But uh, basically what happened was all this uh, grass got in there and ate up the bearings. So that's that's uh, pretty much shot. Yeah. I mean, it's it's in there pretty good. See here. I'll take it all off. See there. Okay, it's not good in there. Anyway, so I got the piece I needed. So you're supposed to use and they didn't use that, but you're supposed to use this plate to protect to protect the barrel. I guess they get another that. So anyway, there it is. Make sure uh, you don't get any grass in the bearings. Because it's just a headache waiting to happen. You can see how this bearing is. There's no no play at all. So basically what I had to do was is I had to grind down this lip on here. Because I needed it to be flush, and uh, so I took the angle grinder, wherever it is, and I uh, did that. So. This piece here was spinning, the one that protects it, so I had to, uh, I really quickly welded that together, so it's uh, a lid to fight another day here, so it's probably as old as I am, still going strong.